In this video, we're going to show a steady state analysis of a circuit involving a capacitor and an inductor. Before we go into that, let me just talk about what steady state even means. So the idea of steady state is if your circuit has been hooked up and running for a while and nothing is changing in the circuit, then you're going to reach your steady state here. Uh, one way to think about it is when you turn on your computer, you can't immediately run whatever software you're planning to run. It takes some time for it to boot up and eventually get to the, you know, your, your operating system is loaded and then you can start doing whatever you were planning to do on your computer. So that booting time, that startup time where it's going through the motions, that's the, what we call the transient response. It's short term. And then once you've gotten to the, the main way where your operating system is running and you can start doing things, that would be your steady state. So in a circuit like this, steady state's gonna happen once your inductor and capacitors are fully charged. Now it's asking us to find the current through the inductor and the voltage across the capacitor at steady state. So this is our standard circuit here and that's what we have. But if I wanna draw the steady state version of the circuit, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take every inductor and replace it with a short and every capacitor and replace it with an open. So the six Henry inductor up here, it's now going to be just a short, but the current going through there, it's still IL. So there, there is an inductor there. It just behaves as if it was a short. Similarly, there is actually a capacitor here, but it's gonna behave as if it's an open. At this point in time, all we have is two resistors in parallel with the current source. So we can use current divider rule here. So the current going along the six ohm resistor, we'll call that I1, is the total current times the resistance we're not at over the sum of the resistances here. So it's gonna be one amp coming down the first branch. And then, well, we can either do the calculation here or realize that we had four amps coming up, one amp going down, which means we have to have another three amps coming down here. And because the fact that this is an open circuit, there's zero amps going in this direction. And so that means right away, we now know that IL is gonna be the three amps there. On the other hand, we can also find VC using Ohm's law. VC is in parallel with the two ohm resistor the two ohm resistor has three amps coming through it, so we get six volts there. And now we've determined the current through the inductor and the voltage across the capacitor in steady state without having to do much work at all. I do want to point out, it is only this simple when you have sources that are DC. In the future, we're going to see how we can handle this problem with AC sources and it's considerably more involved. So this is for a DC source in steady state. We're also gonna see how to handle a DC source and try to find the transient analysis of the circuit. That's also gonna be more difficult, but this is for the steady state analysis.